we'll learn how we can use Unreal Engine, how you need to navigate Unreal Engine, and it is more. You are currently watching now Tech Learning. So hey guys, it's me Sajjad Hussain, and I'm a game developer and game level designer or artist in soft tech engineering. So currently we are using Unreal Engine 4.8 and 7.2 and the first when you open unreal engine you find like an interface like this there you find some template this is some basic template it's already set up from epic or official from unreal engine so you can basically use them and just understand some basics so will we start from a blank project so a blank project it's basically blank but you find in a empty project or, or basically in this blank project you'll find some sky and some mesh also there is some other template available so you can choose any of them but we are using with a blank so if we press with next there we found a second hour step that is it will first of all ask you that uh, which programming language you want to use on this project so first of all they by default they give you a blueprint if you have uh, visual studio 2019 so it will be give you access to uh, write code or select the programming language in c++ okay so for now we'll be use the blueprint code and then in the right side you find option that the basically platform or targeted hardware that is mean that for which platform you want to make your game for my case let's set up the desktop console so if you want you can also set up for mobile but if you want to export your game for or if you want to make your game for mobile so you can set the mobile on tablet but for now we set the desktop controller then you find a option that with the starter content that will be give this uh, option allow to give you some material texture and particles some sounds and it is more to get a start so we'll be use that if you don't need so you can set the non starter content but for our case will be set in the left side you find that maximum quality or the quality or the performance of your game that's there's a two type of option available first is maximum quality second is scale 3d or 2d that is for if you want to make your game for super realistic so you can set up here that maximum quality if you want that okay no i want some performance also like it can be run my game can be run in lower device that which which a uh, user don't have some you know kind of like a good pc or even high ram graphics card processor so for that you can make your game for 3d and 2d so it will be give you less quality and better performance for now our case will be set maximum quality and the last option is ray tracing if you have rtx and if you want to enable uh you want to build a game that which support rtx so you can set, set up here that ray tracing enable but in our case we'll set up being that disable because we don't want to use rtx or ray tracing in our game then in next is bottom side you can see that while your basic project saving you find the location Fr from these three dots you can set up that where you want to save your uh, this game or this project then here you find your project name so basically you can give it name anything in the future you can also change this and you can also give your game name from instead of project so you don't need to worry so here you can give anything name so let's give it that uh, first day because this is our first day that's why and then here if you want to do anything uh, undo you can set up here uh, press on back or if you want to uh, create the project just press on create project so now it will start creating a project for you okay so as you can see here is our basically the unreal engine as this is a blank project but in unreal engine blank project you find here a sun a sky a skylight reflection capture and some assets and a sunlight and some fogs also so here is basically your engine so for navigate the viewport that is basically your viewport where or your editor viewport where we do what where you do all of your stuff like your game editing and like you you will build your scene you do programming everything you will do on this panel so yeah so this is basically your editor panel so for navigate this like for move your camera you can hold your right mouse and you can move the camera left or right wherever you want and by left uh, click selection you can select the object in your scene and by pressing wsd you can move around w for go forward s for backward and a for go left and d for right okay so this is basically 
the second is for copying any object from your scene you can select this thing and you can pray uh, on hotkey you can sit, uh, press that C T R A plus alt and you can drag in y x or z so it will be basically duplicate a object for you okay and if you want to delete this object you can press the back space it will be delete uh, the object from your scene and then you can also do one more thing that for you can do the same thing by pressing right mouse and here you find option that if you go in edit section you find that cut copy paste duplicate and yeah delete also also as you can see uh, by pressing ctr plus w you can duplicate this object also if you don't want to press the uh, ctr plus all and if you don't want to drag and drop you can press ctr plus w it will be more easy okay so in the left side you can see there's some basics object so by this thing you can get a start your scene development like the, there's a give you a empty actor a empty character a point light the light is basically on your scene whatever is you are watching right now okay if i drag and drop a uh, light you can see there's a light uh, reflection okay so from anything you want to add from your if you want to add in your game you can by just simply drag and drop and you can get okay for as you can see for moving this object you can use the x y and z okay in y axis you can move this object in left and right by x you can go forward and backward and by pressing z uh, you can go up and down okay and for rotate these objects you can select uh, press at here the rotation or you can press on your keyboard that e by e you can rotate this object this is uh, helpful on the level designing because you uh, don't need to press uh, tons of time by your keyboard you can control this option so you can rotate this thing in z y and x for scaling this object like if you want to make this thing make this object big or small you can do by r by r you can basically make this thing smaller bigger okay or whatever you want by pressing ctr plus z you can undo the everything whatever you did okay that's great and also by enable this thing the gridding option you can basically change uh, the your gridding option like you can do more smoothly if you want by enable this gridding option it will be great basically give you the grid automatically so here you find an option for the camera that is as you can see the how our camera is moving that is basically the speed so you can increase the speed by uh, depends on your level okay you can increase that speed or you can de-increase the speed okay depends on you so by default value is 4 that is great and also as you can see uh, in our right side there's a this is a world learner I just do some customization that's why it's looking like this thing so yeah whatever <clears throat> in your case what it will like do let me show you so like if i give you the default editor you find maybe in your case it's look like this there's a details panel on the bottom side uh, everything so you can customize the tab how you want so i like that it's always staying up so it will be give me more space to access my all this stuff so i already saved my preset so let me load out my again my preset so here's my preset okay so first of all you find the details panel the details panel is basically i uh, which object which object you selected already it will be give you information about why it's the location rotation scale and mobility the location is basically what is the position in on this world and the rotation is that basically the rotation of the the rotation value of your object and the scale is basically the selected object scale or the size and the mobility is uh, some of cases unreal you need to know that are it is static station or mobile the static is mean that in Unreal Engine, it will be understand that this object is static. It will be never move in game. But if you set this station, it uh, some of cases it can be move and maybe it's also can be move. So depends on that. Unreal Engine set up the lights and shadow. And if you set it here the movable, so it will be always uh, understand that this is a movable object. So it can be move. So make sure by uh, changing the system, it will be increase and increase your light baking uh, time. Okay, 
then you find option for uh, that you can change the static mesh like if you want you can change this model like you can give anything else there's a, some basic shaper available so you can change by from at here by pressing this thing so you can best change whatever you want you can make this thing some bigger so it will be easy it's easy to navigate so you can search something that as well let me search some shaper i guess that will be gay uh, look great yep as you can see it's shaper so also here you find a, re a reset option that by pressing this thing you can reset yeah that is reset completely as you can see this is a quite looking great ball the material is basically the color of this object like uh, if you want as you can see this is a white ball right now but if you want you can give some other colors like the green even some others for example let's set up the green so as you can see this is a now a green ball in unreal engine it's very easy there's also one more option you can do so if you check in content browser that is basically if you want to use anything in your game like sound texture model you need to add or put them in your content browser so let's open the starter content then let's go to material in material folder always you find the material so here there's a tons of material available let's use this material so you can basically drag and drop and just you know just release that in your object so which object you will be released it will be automatically change the material also you can drag and drop from here so it will be also can change okay so yeah it's totally super easy you can do for any of object like whatever you want see it's totally super easy in unreal gene to do anything okay then on a object you find some physics that is basically if you want to play with this object like there's a some option available that is simulate physics by this thing enable you will be allowed to these objects to have some physics so if i click on the, uh, play so as you can see this ball has been dropped and if i just hit him so he'll be basically just go somewhere okay so yeah it's basically basically uh, now following the physics rules if you want to disable that it will be don't follow the physics now it will always stay on the uh, you know on the air also by pressing this play mode you can basically test your game that how it's working or anything else and then here you find an option that by selecting this object you find the collisions the collision is basically super important in game the collision is, this thing is uh, the collision is basically that it will be basically verify that are uh, you can go inside of this object or not for example that is you know block in uh, as you can see it's saying that the collision preset is block or dynamic if i click on play and if i try to go inside of that i can't because this is a block but if i select this thing and select this thing to non-collision that is mean there is a no collision so if i now try to go inside of that as you can see i can go easily okay that is basically for by this thing you can by pressing block you can basically block this thing and by pressing uh, or set this thing in non-collision you are basically setting that you know there's a no collision okay that is basically super basics then you find a tab that world outliner so whatever in your game or whatever in this level like there's a sunlight chair tables or anything you are you added in your this level it will be you find the all this stuff in your outliner okay from your outliner you can disable and enable that uh, depends on situ uh, situation and you can remove from here also okay there's all the option is available then uh, you find here there's some option that is save current that is basically if you do some change so you can save here so you can it will basically save your things and then here you find the modules so in the modules I hear there's terms of more option come like landscape foliage brush editing and mesh painting and it is more by pressing settings you can access your uh, world settings the project settings and plugins the project settings basically whatever doing in your project you can do some customization in your project there's a some of cases it's very neat and the plugins is basically some of cases we need some helping plugins so by this thing you can enable so i as you can see i have some plugins so it's saying that you can enable just place this enable and just this option will become you can enable and restart your engine and your plugins will become so i guess that is enough for today basics also you can follow us in our uh youtube and 
facebook and website and telegram link you can see also you find the link in the description below so you can give it a try thank you so much for watching guys love you all bye bye see you in the next video